What's good, you uh, talk? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And we, <laughs> and we back, back like, like we, we never left. left. You were so late. I did. What were you doing? I was... I was getting you some lotion. You getting me the lotion, but but you was way over there. Y'all, I was like, here, here it come, babe. Come I, on. When it was coming on, I had to jump back into the scene like, <laughs> eh. I had to get my little Heisman on, you know what I'm saying? You made it, though. You made it. That's all that matters. But major love to everybody that's tuning in right now. We're about to be jump, jumping back into The Sopranos. Yeah. And... Just if, just as far as like the cast of like characters that's in the Sopranos, I feel like they got a classic cast, and and I feel like they got like a perfect cast to have like everybody in it, in regards to like an Italian mob. You think so? Like like from Polly to Christopher to Tony's role to uh to Seal, like everybody, like I just feel like that, like they really like bring like the authenticity of like the Italian mob to life. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I feel like I've learned I feel like it. a little bit more watching some of the movies that we have. Like, I mean, obviously The Sopranos really kind of set it off. Like, I feel like I can get a better understanding from watching The Sopranos. Especially like the way that like an Italian mob works. <clears throat> like, like kind of like the closeness of a mob family. I can't believe we're already on season five, y'all. But, mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah. well, shoot. You ready? So, we better be checking out uh, episodes three and four right now. Yes, okay. we are. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into our Patreon, check out all of our unedited, <laughs> uncut videos, yeah. as well as our behind-the-scenes footage, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series as well, including this one. Okay, so other than that, all that said, let's go ahead and jump into this video, y'all. Hey, I'm ready. Let's get into it. <laughs> Got myself a gun. <laughs> Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean. Coffee? Where's your dirties? I'll get them. <laughs> Look at Tony. It's hard seeing you like this. What, working? With a real job? <laughs> oh. It's like I've been telling Feach. It's been a long, strange trip. Feach? Anyway, it's Look. a lot to draw that shit. Could have just as easily been me that went away. When I was gonna be there that night of the hijack. It ain't like you came away totally unscathed. Couple of goons jumped me and cut my head open. You ended up in the ER. That's 16 stitches. You got 15 years. You always were a lucky fuck. I got other sorrows in my life. Hmm, he's like got other sorrows. He ain't caving. He said, I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me a good job and stay legit. Mm-hmm. I told my cousin I want to stay a civilian. Ah, yes. The boy king. The emerald green Cadillac. I gotta make a stop. What the fuck you doing? Excuse me? My nephew has this area, Gary LaMana. Oh, fuck off, huh? Oh, that was oh. the wrong thing. Yeah, he started out wrong. Talk about busting his balls. Much, huh? <laughs> he like, okay. <sighs> oh. We're on parole. What the fuck you doing? Even the old man still got hands. But let me tell you. <laughs> so what would you do? Only hold like this. No, it's not her. That's Judy. No, it's not Judy. Oh, the fuck. Why am I on there? What? It's not you. That's Bobby. The fuck is this? It's not you. It's a TV program. Movie. That is. He said Judy. Yeah, what was that? Maybe somebody made like a TV show about him or something. With Bobby being in it? Bobby and him. Tony, hey. Thanks for seeing me. What's on your mind? Honestly, I'll get right to the point. No. I kind of thought I'd be out on the street. It's over a year. I'm still picking up prescriptions. But what do you need, money? You know, I want a chance to earn. I mean, I'm happy to do it. It's just 40 minutes of getting up some stew soft that was on sale. <laughs> You're the only one I can trust over there. And believe it or not, it's important to me that he's cared for. Maybe you can make more collections or something. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Rest those dogs. <laughs> Arrest those dogs. What's going on? Nobody cutting the lawn? Mr. Vitro, the gardener? Somebody beat him up, broke his arm. <laughs> God forbid. 
Who beat him up? He said he was going to cut the lawns. He carried the man a landscape. <laughs> yeah, he said we cutting the lawns over here. We got a monopoly going on over here. Right. Her. We cutting every lawn. A man in your position turn away fucking business now. I didn't know it was you, right? Here you go. Phil, hey, I was just thinking about you. How about this humidity? Oh! Guys, please, whatever this is, shut up. Two times you were told to kick up the Johnny sack. And what do you do? You kick up the little Carmine? Paper. Philly, <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry, I'll pay you, okay? I'll do anything you want. I'll suck your cock, okay? All of you guys. You suck our cock. Yeah. <laughs> they might get her out of it. I ain't gonna lie. They might get her out of it. That's a muffle the shot. Oh. Adios, fucking skank. Watch it. Hey, today's a lucky day. Only made it three odds. <laughs> Come on. No way. Oh she got my lucky. Gosh. It didn't go through the phone book. <sighs> Damn, he slapped the taste out of her mouth. Wow. Lorraine calls me and she said, there's a situation that's gotten out of hand with John and little Carmine. Johnny, I wouldn't even let the maggots get on Carmine before he's telling me to kick up direct to him. Problem is Carmine never named a successor. And we all assumed to be Johnny because the uh, son's down in Miami or at the discos and whatnot. This could get ugly. There's a lot of potential for bloodshed. Now, you're close to John. You have any ideas? What are you asking him for? He never even had the makings of a varsity athlete. <laughs> the makings of a varsity athlete. He's just, he's just breaking balls. Anyway, one thought I had, maybe there could be a power sharing situation. Little Carmine, Johnny, and you. I'm be tired. Think about it. So I guess they gotta figure out what they gonna do. Who's what's the pecking order now that Carmine's gone? Mm -hmm. What about Johnny? There he is, the king of breadsticks. Give me a breadstick up your ass. <laughs> I got a guy. I think you may have run into him. Guy the name is Sal Vitro. He says your nephew's moving into his neighborhood. His neighborhood. So do me a favor, huh? Lay off. Fucking God, enough, Paulie. You cut the hair in your balls, too? <laughs> <laughs> You've been away 20 fucking years. Which entitles me to earn. Which entitles you to shit. Good thing for me, then, that your book don't mean no gods to me. Oh? What's yours is yours, Paulie. But what ain't is anybody else's. Get the fuck out of my store. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look, you see how fast that turned ugly? Yeah, and, and he got up and we got on about it. Right. Say. <laughs> Dang no! He got lit. Bobby well, came by to see me the other day. Really? So we discuss his career. I'm his wife. Sometimes he needs a push. <laughs> Give me a say hello. So how you doing? Hanging in. Heard you over there at the Motel Six. I'm moving in with my cousin at the end of the month. You know, if you want, I'm staying over my mother's and the place is empty. No. It's fucking stupid that we're on the house. Honey, we're like brothers. How long are we gonna hold a grudge? Thanks, Tom. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Artie needs to be over there with Tony. Nah. <laughs> nah. He don't. Bullionese has meat, obviously. The marinara doesn't. Oh, bullionese. Your father never had the makings of a varsity athlete. Well, what the... <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> it's not true. I let it in football. Small hands. That was your problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Daddy always said that. That's not the point. What is it with you and this obsession with this varsity crap? The other day you said it. Why well, don't want to hear it again? End the subject. <laughs> Joe, you're looking like I am not phased by you yelling at me. In hey. here. <laughs> Not. So coming down, I heard on the radio, it looks like the Jets are going to grab that kid from Tulsa. We still get those season tickets, big brother. All I know is you never had the makings of a varsity athlete. Oh, son of a bitch! Did I just tell you not to say that again? Say what? <laughs> you don't like the way I talk? Get out of my house. Get your coat, we're leaving. Well, Hell, please like it. Tell me, what's going on? My last Sunday dinner here, that's what's going on. Tony didn't play football in college. <laughs> <laughs> he did not make the varsity. <laughs> yeah, he real sensitive about that. He's a goddamn hothouse flower. That's his problem. Look how cool Junior is. He just like, <laughs> oh well. He didn't play varsity. <laughs> Next. 
Tony said it three times, told him not to say nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Why he get so worked up about yeah, it and, though? And then leave. I thought he thought I thought he thought that uh, Sunday dinners was important. Angelo got up, he came to see me. Lauren Caluzzo reached out. Fucking twat. I gotta nip this little carmine shit in the bud. No one likes that cunt anyway. Fuck, I'll let her taste her own medicine. All right, whatever. In large measure, I blame you for this shit with little carmine. What the fuck did I do? You legitimized him. Goes to Florida to see that schmuck. All right, come on. Uh. Huh? We both agree that little carmine's a fucking asshole. Angelo had an idea. What if there was a power sharing situation? You all were in charge equally. No major decisions can be made without a majority or two. What the fuck? What's this, the fucking UN now? <laughs> yeah, and you just said something about Johnny, too. Yeah. A little, while, a little while ago about sort of like the pecking order and stuff. But that's the reason why I feel like he was the one that took her mind out. Yeah, because he was disgruntled about, about not getting paid. Right. Where is he? I'm telling you, I don't know. Where did he go? Look. <laughs> Look, he's got his robe on. I think something is really up with him, though. You're right. What's up with Junior? First, it seemed like you know he was playing crazy to get off the trial, but I don't know. It just seemed like he just act. He just a little bit. Something just don't seem something's right. Something's a little. Something's miss. Yeah. Something missing. Junior was acting a little peculiar when they got here today. We were watching the TV. He thought he saw himself on one of the programs. Oh. He might really be tripping. That's what I'm saying. Get down here. I want to talk to you. What do you want? I'm a friend of Salvitro's. So? You're going to make good on his busted arm. Eat shit, pal. Why don't you <laughs> take a walk, huh? He just not gonna let this thing go. Oh. Watch this. Uh oh. I know something. Those are electrical. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Give me a wallet, you prick. <laughs> and he went in the wallet. This and the mower's a down payment. Oh, you know he broke an ankle, his right. knee. Something hurting. Look, he's taking a lot more too. <laughs> he petty. <laughs> He petty, y'all. Uh, oh, man. Polly don't care. He do not care. I bet you won't come over here and mow nothing else. <laughs> not that, with this mower. Is that his aunt, right? He's gonna... <laughs> Tony, it's me. Listen, it's your uncle. He's gone. You mean he's dead? No, 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 no. <laughs> Wandering Tom. You can wander off the Palisades for all I care. He's fucking dead to me. Use the Palisades. Don't be calling me saying my uncle's gone though. I would have thought the same thing too. I don't think they know how serious it is though. Mm -hmm. If that's really what's going on with him. I think Bobby's starting to figure it out. Yeah, I think so too. Right now, Tony just mad. Wait a minute. How much? How much time to win by? Stay here. I'm going out. Dad, can I go with you? No. Can Janice go and we just stay here? What I tell you about being impolite? <laughs> <laughs> the kids, they like. Can Janice go? <laughs> then when they had that kid with the lung problem, who do you think got him that doctor on Park Avenue? What are over the dam, huh? I had no idea you guys were that close. We were like brothers. It's a shame then you can't find a way to work things out. Give me a piece of bread, huh? Have you thought about this? Maybe you let him keep Lorraine. And you take a bigger piece of his Florida shit. You know, it wasn't long ago I remember you used to wait in the car. And uh -oh. as far as I'm concerned, you should still be there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got a goddamn opinion. He need to sit out. Johnny's starting to get too worked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I think he's starting to feel what himself too much. What the fuck did I say? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, T. I just thought I... I'm gonna unfuck what you just fucked up. I'm gonna do something nice for Johnny. Like what? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh-oh. Here she go. How much longer am I going to have to keep doing this? Major Rico against Tony Soprano? Those things take years to build. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Look Babe, at this. Look at... Yeah. He's lost. They need to put out a missing persons report. Yeah. It ain't no telling where he at right now. Because he sure don't know where he's at. He didn't walk and wonder that far. Is that Alzheimer's? Like Alzheimer's, dementia. 
Not to mention, he's still in his pajamas and his robe. Right. <laughs> like they didn't see you already. Look at him. <laughs> Jesus, Uncle June, thank God. Where have you been? We were worried sick. I need to see some identification. I have to use the facilities. Bobby, go with him. God damn it, I can piss by myself. You go out with some exercise, people give you the goddamn third degree. No, he won't try to go out and get no exercise. Wow. Damn. They found him in Newark, in his slippers. He may have Alzheimer's. Good, maybe he'll forget my phone number. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tony, golly. You're the only one he relates to, Tony. Fuck him. Reap with yourself. Oh. You sure did. Wow. You think maybe there's a reason you're living all alone here, Tony? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're gonna give me advice on marriage? You're barking up the wrong tree. Right. Your whole fucking life, whatever it is a family problem, you just shirk your duties or you run the fuck away. I was 18 years old. And I was 16 when you left me in that house with our head case of a mother. Mired in a bullshit trying to be a good son while you're off dropping acid and blowing roadies. Roadies? Oh, you don't want to know. Oh. Oh, I, d I, I don't even know what that is. Roadies. <laughs> Man. You can't get up off the couch because she's so fucking tired from her Epstein <laughs> bar. Poor fucking Janice. Va fungul. I don't know if I want to know what a roadie is. <laughs> and now you're back and you're going to do to this man what you do to every one of them. Fucking piece of shit! Oh! Oh! Just like your mother, huh? Now you can do to him what she did to dirty. You want more responsibility? Stop with controlling your wife. Oh, God. He can't be that mad over what Junior said. Tony, saying. yo. Tony's like... He's a loose cannon lady. He cracks the one kid's head with a shovel, and the other one he knocks out of a tree. He jumped out the tree and come at me with a chainsaw. <laughs> he didn't come at me with you no chainsaw. No, he did not. <laughs> East of Dyer, yours. West of Dyer goes to him. It's for the broken arm. I don't give him 500 bucks. <laughs> you get more going through the system. <laughs> and you keep half your area. Half? It could have been nothing. Lucky you know me. Polly, my wife's gonna sh. All right, thank you, Polly. Mrs. Soprano. I was your mother's neurologist, so I'm treating your uncle. The infarcts, they're uh, akin to many strokes. You've probably noticed them acting differently over the past six months, a year maybe. Do you find he'll ask the same question every three minutes, what time it is? Same with the varsity thing. See, that's why he kept saying that it. That explains about, about the whole varsity thing and Tony blowing up about yeah, it. Yeah, look, now he's thinking about that. He got so mad at him, and, and, and it was really something wrong. Right. So how you feeling? Heard you had a little problem. What problem? All right. But your doctor said something different. Just take your medicine, Uncle Joe. Make you feel better. Help with your memory. Believe me, there's plenty I'd like to forget. Yeah, you and me both. Look, the doctor said you may not have known what you were saying. What are you talking about? The varsity shit. Well, let's assume that you didn't know what you were saying, that, that you forget what you say shit over and over. Yeah? Why is it gotta be something mean? <laughs> Of all what? things he could huh? ask. <laughs> Tony, you gotta understand what's going on with this you man. Don't you love me? Maybe Junior like has an inclination as well, but he just doesn't want to own up to it and it's hurting him. <sighs> You know, oh. like, I don't know. I don't know how that goes. But I'm just like, what if what if Uncle Junior, like, knows, like, something's wrong with him, but he doesn't want to own up to knowing that there is something wrong with him? You know, because, mm -hmm. like I said, I don't think anybody was catching on to it because they were, they told him to fake it through all that whole case thing. But really. Yeah, with the trial and everything. Yeah, but really, like, 
that might have been when it started actually really setting in for him. And then they were just going along with it. When he fell down and hit his head and stuff. Yeah. When he fell down at the steps. Yeah. I don't think he's able to, he's processing what Tony is completely saying. Mm-hmm. This is really sad. And also, I want to see what kind of happens with Johnny, too. Mm-hmm. With this whole issue with Johnny and little Carmine. Like, I want to see how that starts unfolding because I think that can be a real big issue. Yeah. Oh, it's, I feel real like it's, it's already issue. boiling up. You're starting to see it, too. Yeah. You're starting to see it. Hey, doing something I probably would have did in my mama call back then when I was first learning how to drive. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's Carmella know he out there burning rubber with your car. Because <laughs> I'm going to have all kinds of problems. I'm just saying. I don't even know what he's doing. So talk to me about something. <clears throat> Thanks for having us up here, Tom. Now, what's on your mind? <laughs> he always in the refrigerator. You gotta hit the, you gotta hit the refrigerator. Come on now. Is this the same wiggle? Last year to reach you on with the Billy Buds. AJ got him as a college advisor. And I told this kid to start cracking the books. Was he supposed to do that after he got back from the Nets game? You took him to on a school night. I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. That's why we're separated. Are you kidding me, Tony? That is not why. That's not the reason, Tony. That is not the reason. Hi, Lorraine. Oh. Fuck! Jason! <laughs> no! Jason! Oh, hey. Ooh. Oh, I knocked him off. Get them dirty. Killed him and then caught her out the shower. Popped her with the towel, man. <laughs> Ran around popping her with the towel. Fucking Philly Leotardo. She told me he wanted her. It's goddamn Johnny Sack. It's his message to the other captains. I'm telling you, Carmine. We go all out while steamroll right over John. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Looking at the club. We're talking about that mess over in New York. <laughs> like, that was a long ass time ago. What Way you back, back in the gap. <laughs> I came to ask for my game back. It's my uncle's game now. You'll still keep a lion's share of the rake. Not to mention that maybe I got it coming. He's us, Struts. Look at this suit he got on. No. Still be looking smooth. <laughs> Can I go to the Mordain concert or not? I've been trying to think of a reason to let you stay overnight in New York with your friends, but I'm afraid it's not going to happen. Todd's I think that's Lawrence Taylor at the table. Hey. Klaus. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and a high stakes for you, no? Teach front of my action. And thank you for not humiliating me. So how's Lady Luck treating you, huh? Jesus Christ, how many times this guy got to say hello? <laughs> Tony know how to shake a room up. Yeah, he do. When he walk into the room, he'll change the vibe. If we can just nudge Lem's verbals past 760 on the next round, he can basically write his own ticket. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Look how that meeting went. Look, they looking like... <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> we are rapidly approaching crisis mode, and time is of the essence. Do you think it would be a benefit to him to see a psychologist on a regular basis? Wow. You don't approve of therapists? Psychologists? Well. People use it as a crutch. And I always wonder what happened to Gary Cooper, the strong, silent type. Gary Cooper wasn't a 16 year old boy, <laughs> he was at one time. I mean, I'm gonna have to agree with my husband here, Mr. Wiggler. I know my son, he's just lazy. They said I might be learning disabled. Hey, did he tell you to go to class? Don't stop playing with me. Oh, look at perfumes, <laughs> lotion. <laughs> Whoa! What's that, a Nissan Xterra? Xterra SC. 3.3 liter supercharged. Look, this is mine? That is the last thing that he need, is a dang on car. You think so? Yeah! Why are you trying to rain on his parade? Then this baby sits in the garage till you pull your grades up to a C. What? You heard your father. I was talking to him, not you. Oh, Ooh, wait a minute. I gotta put dinner on. Tony, I have bills for you. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> the tutor called Roto Rooter, a cheap sound system for the media room. Yeah, why should I pay for that? Your little movie connoisseur kind of friends are still meeting? At least I have friends. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? You just have a bunch of flunkies. What do you know about it? Compliment you on your new shoes. They tell you that you're not going bald. Think they really care? You're the boss. They're scared of you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been thinking. 
And I apologize for my use of foul language, foul with a W. You said some very hurtful things to me in regards to myself, but it is still no excuse to use the vile word that I used, of which I am sure you know that I'm talking about. Cunt, right? Yes, Elliot. Ablution, the desire to cleanse himself of the deed. Notice he still fundamentally blames me. Now she's going through the ther therapist right. about Tony. Uh, after our meeting the other day, I had some ideas. I thought maybe we could meet, have lunch. I, I could share them with you. Really? Uh, well, yeah, I guess that would be okay. St. Peter says, Your Holiness, we got hundreds of popes up here. This is the first Jewish accountant. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get when you cross an accountant with a giant jet airplane? A boring 747. <laughs> 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 Tony got jokes. No, I think he's starting to realize something. That they <laughs> that they laugh at whatever he say, no matter what. Cause he the boss. Yeah, look, he like that wasn't really funny. <laughs> Damn, and that was real corny too. Yeah. <laughs> Boring. Seven forty seven. I've decided to let you stay in the city after the concert. I talked to Med. She said that you can sleep over at her apartment. Sunday morning, I want you home 10.30 sharp. Thanks. Come on, go, 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 hurry! So, you guys like your job? <laughs> they in the title of LA. Apparently, there's been an armed robbery. Some automobiles were taken. Oh! Oh, and they at the wedding. They right, they jacked the ballet car. at a Jewish oh wedding. God. Our car is gone. You know how long my brother was on the waiting list for that thing? One who who did it? I don't know. <laughs> they got some nice rides, though. Look, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it up there. What are you talking about? You know Mom's going to call here. Just tell Mom I'm on my way up. All right, you better stay there and be home on time tomorrow. I don't want any shit from Mom. Why can't you just do the right thing? I knew he wasn't gonna do it though. My, your mind gave you an inch. He gonna take a foot. I knew he wasn't gonna do it. Cause we know what he trying to go do, right? We know what he trying to go and, do. And someone told me Carmela was gonna let him do that just because she feels bad, like she doesn't want him to treat her that way. Right. So I don't feel like she's always been a disciplinarian. Yeah. So she let him go. Look, there she go. Hello. Is your brother there? He's not answering his cell. I know. He's asleep. But he was pretty zapped. Is he all right? Mom, he's fine. You just wait until you have children. Not me. I'm never having kids. <laughs> go, 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 go. Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> what kind of game is this? Where's the patient? Ew. Oh. <laughs> Somebody hit us. They stole all the fucking cars. I had to sedate my own little girl at her wedding. You gotta help me before they're chopped. Soon as she give him a little opportunity to go do something. It's my mother. Turn around and mess it up. What is that on his face? My face is stuck to the rug. <laughs> how does... How? Fucking crazy glued you. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow. What? Oh. There's like a saying off of uh, The Hangover or something. <laughs> <laughs> they got the mustache and everything. The Hangover? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. Hi, yeah, it's me. Uh, AJ stayed in the city with his friends last night, and he's not home yet. I just sleeping it off. No, I called Todd's mother, and Todd came home. He could be dead by now. God, why did I let him go? He's all right. I'll take care of it. What time is it right about now? It's past 10.30. Yeah. God damn you. I've been going crazy trying to reach you. What happened to your face? Just leave me alone. No, I want to know what happened. His eyebrows are gone. That's what they're supposed to be. That's what those are supposed to be on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyebrows. AJ, 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 AJ. Oh, man. Yeah. His eyebrows all screwed up. What happened to your leg? He lied to me, Tony. Which means that they both lied. She's covering for him. Switching around. Now let's hear it. 
I was gonna go to Meadows, but there weren't any cabs. Right by the hotel. Enough of your lying. Look at your... Never been more serious in my life. Oh, I would be so mad. What are you gonna do? Mad at Tony. Both, both of them, huh? Come on, this is normal teenage shit. You remember us? You don't know what it's like to have your son hate your guts. He doesn't hate your guts. My pathetic need to compete with you clouded my judgment. I, I went against all of my instincts. His eyebrows will grow back! I said, fuck it. And you know why? To get him to love me as much as he loves you. See? I knew it. I can't be the villain anymore. I mean it. Take mm. him. Let him live with you. Oh, man. He's going from bad to worse. He don't... <laughs> That's the last place he need to be at. Right. I mean, at least Tony doesn't sit around doing drugs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's probably the best thing about being around Tony, but no, he don't need to go anywhere Tony goes. <laughs> <laughs> he need to be at home with Carmelo. He does. So serious. You have anything to do with that wedding takedown in Ringwood? Not a problem. I told you that doctor was a friend of mine. Sorry, Godfather. I thought he was just another pigeon. Who authorized you to do it? And don't call me Godfather with that fucking cute smirk. You gotta ask permission to ply your trade? Here's your end. Be happy. I said, as long as you don't step on anybody's toes. In my day. And that's another thing. I don't want to hear no more about how it was in your day. Okay. It's a new day. Shut the fuck up! Ooh. Okay. Old school ain't gonna like that. Jesus Christ. I learn. Yeah. Oh. I remember that. He was the only one in the back that wasn't smiling. We all right. Johnny, uh-oh. Johnny Sack. Did I learn nothing from Mitchie April? Huh? Nip it in the bud. Feach. He's well liked, T. That's another thing. Don't be so hard on yourself, though. I think Tony just got a little, a little more of like a reality check, too. Yeah, because, like there you said, did I not learn anything from Richie? Right. Richie got out of prison and started acting a dang fool, too. Yeah. And just because they laugh don't mean they love you. Right. They just laughing because they fear you. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> we gotta do this shit. You don't wanna know. It's all fucked up. What? My imbecile cousin was welding his boat trailer, burns down his garage. Now we got no place to park the truck that we got. Flat screen TVs. Guy's coming down from Montreal, but he got delayed a couple of days. Oh, I thought something was about to happen to him. I did too. <laughs> but Tony did just tell him to be quiet about everything. Actually, he just moved in with his father. I don't know if he said. Really? I know, maybe it'll be good. You know, learning the things that men need to know. <laughs> Why is she at a dinner with a, with the principal? <laughs> I just, that just <laughs> dawned on me. You realize that when they start getting their food? Yeah. And who was it by again? Gustav Flaubert. <laughs> she said that she would meet him. He, she, he wanted to talk about AJ. At a spot like this, y'all couldn't go to like Whataburger or something? <laughs> <laughs> White Castles? <laughs> nah. Nah. Yeah, Supervisor Curran, parole board, site visit. Is that new? The TV. Uh, bequest. Friend of mine passed away. Hopefully they don't have a serial number on the TV. Oh, not only that, hopefully he don't have it. Not your garage? Ugh. Nah. Let's go out and open. I know that look on your face like that when you're just like, oh. Here's the wind up. He already know. Yeah. Oh, somebody hotboxed us. <laughs> I saw you close the window. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> a Dutch oven. That's so nasty. <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Ew. Right, that's enough. Go upstairs do your Spanish homework. Oh my god. Minutes. No, no. <laughs> wow, look, they got him caught up. Yeah. Oh man, they got him caught up with the TVs. Yeah. And he was on parole. And they got him, he got him from Christopher. Mm-hmm. 
They're but, already on to Christopher. Right, and he was on parole, so you know he already going back for some time. Right. I thought they was going to clip him at first. I did, too. When they showed up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me, too. Mommy, look at me. Anthony. She's coming home to an empty house. Man, Anthony's not there. Yeah, and just think about this too. Just like, you know, from the beginning of this series, from the beginning of this TV series, when we first started watching, it was like their house was like full of life. It was full of everybody was in the house, mm -hmm. obviously. the You know, the whole family, you know, Meadow was still in high school. Right. You know, AJ was, was young growing up. Tony, Carmela, it's like they was all under one roof. Mm -hmm. and, and slowly but surely, like I said, everybody started growing up. Meadow, she went to college. You know, now AJ, he's in high school. Now the issue with Tony, and now Tony's out of the house, and then AJ, and he's now she walks house. into the house, and it's just like, yeah, just just seeing like this whole, like I said, just over it's a so period sad of time, to, like, like watch a, all of this unfold. Just the evolution of, of each character, and now like it's like now Carmela is like they separated, and yeah. now she has this big house to herself, right. And now I feel like she's going to start having some issues and, and like having some hard times <laughs> dealing with that because she's like a mama bear, you know, like she's always been around to take care of her kids and do everything for them yeah. and, and nurture them. You know what I mean? Like she's always been there. So and, for them not to be there, neither one of them. I mean, Meadow's been gone for a while, but mm -hmm. with Anthony, I feel like. You know, maybe it'll hit home a little harder for her. And because she's coming home to an empty house, I feel like that's different for some people. Yeah. And that was like her job. Yeah. That's Obviously, all she knows. Because she, she was a, uh, you know, a house mom, like a housewife. And so she really took care of everything, like you said, like the kids, oh. like 24-7. And now to see now, it's just like, oh, my kid's growing up. But, one, you know, one's at college and one is out of the house living with Tony. And it's just like. That that reality, I think that reality just hit her right there when right. she walked in, when she was in the driveway and saw that little flashback of of little AJ mm -hmm. on his little um, three wheeler. That's our baby you too. Know? I feel like you know that's symbolic of that too. Like he's my baby, and now she's walking in and he's not there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the and that's the harsh reality. But you of, see how right he acted when Tony you know? told him to go do his homework though. How he kind of looked. Yeah. He he was like fifteen more minutes, and Tony Tony said uh, no right now. He kind of gave him that look like, yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. Yeah, okay. And, and it, it was kind of like, and, and that was a reality check for him too, because again, he's sitting there like, because he used to stand at the Carmel all the time. Yeah, right. And kind of and kind of getting that leeway where he he can say what he want to say. But like, that's what I said. Know, I mean, the system. I feel like. The reason why AJ's acting like that is because Tony's not there. And now, you know, like you see how he is with Tony, but you see how much more control Tony has over him. So the fact that he is living with him, no, it's not the best thing. But in terms of how he has him under control like that, he's not so loose at the mouth like he was with Carmella. That's true. But at the same time, I think Tony needs to take take ownership of the responsibility now of uh, really trying to get AJ on the right track as far as like the grades, trying to focus on college and, and stay out of trouble, I, you know? Yeah, I agree. I just don't... Anthony is all about making stupid decisions, though. It just seemed like he AJ, just... He, yeah. he cannot catch doing the right thing. It's yeah. like he gets so caught up in the moment yeah. of doing stupid stuff, you know? Yeah. To, I, Kind of like your typical teenager, but yeah. me, I thought that he was going to be in the city trying to get with that girl. That's what I thought. I, I did, That's too. That's what I thought he was going to be doing. But, <laughs> but still, at, at the same time, he still was doing what he wasn't supposed to be doing because right. he told his mom he was going to do one thing, and then he did <laughs> and he did the other. And how many of y'all and how many y'all didn't did that back in, in your teenage years, your college years? You, you told your, your mom, mom you thing. told your father that you're going to do one thing. We're going to be here. And you had the whole little story planned out that you're going to be here, but yeah. you're not going to be there. Yeah. You oh, no. Nah. Tell them the friend, tell, tell your mom, you coming over here. I'm going to tell my mom we going over there. Yeah. And, and hope that they don't call each other. <laughs> right. That's how you get caught. But... Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So He's she, playing the game. So Carmela sniffed that out all the way. Yeah. And then this whole thing with the cars, too, with the valet cars, like, like that's going like, to come up. Yeah, it's going to come up. Because we was already talking about Johnny Sack before. 
Yeah, you saw how Seal, Seal and Tony they looked at each other calls. when he brought up Johnny's name, though. Mm-hmm. I was just like, yep. Yep. Okay. It was just a matter of time because Johnny trying to play that. He's trying to walk a fine line, like playing everybody against each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he, like I said, he trying to assume the position that Carmine was in, Mm -hmm. which is like top, you know, top ranking boss. Right. So he trying to call all the shots and he, and, and he trying to get that leeway because he know little Carmine Jr. is is trying to get there too. So it's like, they they gonna naturally bump heads over that. I don't know. I just don't think it was a coincidence either that, 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 parole person popped up over it's his not, house. It's not. It's not. And, and it's not a coincidence that Christopher and, and and the other guy wanted to bring the car over there and you saw how they was kind of like, no, 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 no. Oh, nah. that's why it probably was like that because and when Seal said this was probably better than, than having to to knock him off, basically. They did that. Mm-hmm. That's what that was. Yeah. Okay. Because Christopher, it was like, nah, we got these TVs in the car. Nah, nah, nah. We'll go take it somewhere else. And he was like, nah, nah, just go ahead. Just put it in the back. Yeah. And, and they were, you know, kind of baiting him in to insist on leaving it there. So, so that's what that was. So it don't make it seem like they tried to force it on him. Yeah. But that's they kind of, but, but they brought the idea up, uh, knowing yeah. that he on parole. He knew he, <laughs> he, he got, he, he know, he, he an old guy. He should have known that he on parole, that he can't get anything like that around him on his property. He can't be, Involved in any kind of organized crime. Well, you can't guess, get caught with any kind of misdemeanor, no felonies while you're on parole, like nothing. And and and, and, and that was the thing that, that he did. And then, obviously, you see the parole officer pop up. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's better than getting knocked off. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better <laughs> than getting flipped. Cause like they say, a lot of people really love him. So, yeah. So, I guess it's better for him to catch a case and send him upstate. But I don't know if that was a good idea, though, considering the way that he had that look on his face. You know, Tony kind of well, had look. to... When they were at the poker table, and and he had that look on his face, and I feel like Tony kind of honed in on that. But I'm just mm-hmm. like, just that look alone says a lot. It says a lot. And I think, again, the better decision, rather than clip you, does let me go ahead and send you back upstate some kind of way because... At some point in time, I'm probably going to have to do you like Richie. Right. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. He said, that's why he was saying, did I, I not like learn from Richie? Like, <laughs> now you get out, now you now you I acting feel, crazy. Because Richie got out and he was yeah. like doing the same thing. Like, he was really just really just trying to make his way and, and get in and figure out how he was going to get money. Yeah. And he was doing it behind Tony's back. Like, And, 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 I, and I've seen him a couple of times... Um, you know the guy that you know the guy that just was on parole. The guy, that, one of his uncles or older cousins that just got out. The guy that they that they just shown on the bus going back upstate. Mm-hmm. Like I recognize his voice. It took a little while because now he's a lot older. Yeah. But he was he played Frank or Frankie in Scarface. I never. Uh, he, I, <laughs> I never I, I, think seen he, that. I think he I think he played Frank somebody in Scarface. Somebody had to tap in and let us know, but. He, but he's an older, older actor. But I think he okay. played in Scarface too. That okay, okay. Well, yeah. I, I've never seen Scarface, so I have no idea. That's what I'm saying. As far <laughs> that's like, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know who Frank is. And that's what I'm saying. As far as like the cast of like characters, uh, as far as like the cast of actors and actresses that's that's in that's in Sopranos, mm-hmm. are like some very, very seasoned actors and actresses. Like as far as like they like really, really put in some work in Hollywood as oh, far as wow. like TV shows. Yeah. Movies and stuff, so I feel like they got like a perfect cast that they that they got coming through on the show. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think so far. Um, and if y'all enjoyed it, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. We'll see y'all sooner than later. Just hold on. <laughs> Bye.